Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious garlic mashed potatoes. It's super simple and you just need a few ingredients and I'm going to show you how to do it. When it comes to mashed potatoes, the first thing is choosing the correct potatoes. Now, some people use baking potatoes or red potatoes, but I prefer Yukon gold potatoes. It has a nice creamy texture and to me this works best for mashed potatoes it also has a fairly thin skin so if you like to mash your potatoes with the skin on you can just make sure it's cleaned really really well and boil it with the skin on I like to have mine skinless so I peeled my potatoes now I'm just cutting them up into chunks because remember we're gonna mash this so it does not have to be perfect and I'm keeping this recipe fairly simple because if you saw my last video, you would know that I served this with the braised boneless short ribs and it was so, so good. Now, once I've peeled the potatoes, I like to give it a quick little rinse just in case there's any debris on the outside of the potatoes and just drain off that water. And once I've drained it, I am just gonna place it into the pot and then I'm gonna fill my pot with cold water. You wanna start the potatoes in cold water. And I'm just gonna fill it all the way to the top. You need a generous amount of water because this is gonna boil for quite a while. You need it to boil until the potatoes are really tender. And to the pot, I'm adding the garlic cloves and I'm also adding salt. Adding the garlic cloves this way, not only infuses the flavor, but the garlic becomes really tender and you're able to mash it with the potatoes once it's cooked once the potato is tender i am going to strain it and then place it back into that hot pot i like to do this because i just like to use the heat to help it kind of dries off some of the water in the potatoes but it also keeps the heat so it's easy for me to mash it i've added about a half a stick of butter and i've also added heavy cream and i'm just using my potato masher and i'm gonna mash this now there will be lumps because we are using the masher, but if you prefer your potatoes to be smooth, you can use a ricer. Some even use a hand mixer, which makes it nice and fluffy. Next, I'm gonna taste it to see how much salt it needs because we did add some to the water. So I am going to generously salt it. I'm also adding black pepper. You can also use white pepper if the little flecks of black pepper bothers you, but I kinda like it. You can also kick it up a notch and add bacon, cheese, but as it is, it's the perfect side dish for the upcoming holidays and it is so good. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.